Stopping by the 33 Kings Studio. I'm your host, Uncle Jay. Now, on this video, we're going to be talking about five musicians that lost their lives tragically and too soon. And is it possible that maybe these folks are sticking around for an encore? Well, hang with me. Charles Harden Holly born September 7, 1936, known as Buddy Holly, an American singer and songwriter who was a pioneer of music in the 1950s. He was born to a musical family in Lubbock, Texas. He learned to play guitar and sing alongside his siblings, and Holly's style was mostly influenced by gospel music, country music, and rhythm and blues. Holly made his first appearance on local television in 1952. In the following year, he formed the group Buddy and Bob with his friend Bob Montgomery. In 1955, he opened up for a little known guy named Elvis Presley. Holly decided to pursue his music career and he opened for Presley three more times that year. Now his band had shifted primarily from country to Western to entirely rock and roll. After a show in Clear Lake, Iowa, Holly chartered an airplane to travel to his next show in Moorhead, Minnesota. Soon after takeoff, the plane crashed, killing Holly, Richie Valance, the Big Bopper, and pilot Roger Peterson. In a tragedy later referred to by Don McLean as the day the music died in his song American Pie. A tragedy, 22 years old, and so much more to offer to the music world. What would music have been like if Buddy Holly was still around? Now, a lot of folks still think Buddy Holly's still around. And his ghost, well, it's been seen a few times. Let's get into it. Since the horrific plane crash on February 9th in 1959, in a field in Clear Lake, Iowa, people have said that they've seen phantom planes crash in the same spot. Also, locals report seeing bright orbs flying over that same area really high up in the sky. Now, supposedly, Buddy's ghost frequently visits his own grave site, and he's been known to be seen by some patrons in some of the clubs and the bars that he used to frequently play, along with another guy that made the list. But we'll get to that in a minute. Now, if you like what old Uncle Jay's doing, do me a favor. Hit that like, hit that subscribe button, and above all, do me a favor. Share it with your like-minded friends that likes these kind of stories, mysteries, Creepy things and all things ooky. Anyway, here we go with number four. Born James Douglas Morrison on December 8, 1943. An American singer, songwriter, and the front man of the legendary rock band The Doors. Now, due to Jim's distinctive voice, his unpredictable and erratic nature. Will that give Morrison the name as the greatest front man in rock history. Jim Morrison died unexpectedly on July 3rd, 1971. He was found unresponsive in the bathtub in the apartment he shared with his girlfriend, Pamela Corson. He was 27 years old. Now, I'm still a big Doors fan to this day. But one of the most interesting stories that I've ever heard about Jim Morrison is the fact that he and his family were traveling and he was around eight or nine years old. And they witnessed a fatal traffic accident with Native Americans involved. Now there were fatalities. And Jim said it was at this time that two Native American spirits entered his body. Now this could very well explain Jim's dark, deep fascination with death, but we'll actually never know. But it still is very interesting and we'll 
Well, maybe Jim knew something. We didn't know. Jim Morrison was a legend in West Hollywood, and it may be possible that he's still hanging around some of his favorite places, like the Alta Cienega Motel, the Whiskey A Go Go, the Rainbow, Barney's Beanery. In 1997, rock historian Brent Mesner featured in this photo, along with what appears to be a ghostly translucent image of the iconic rock star himself, Mr. Mojo Risen. Now, Meisner says he didn't really notice anything strange in the photo until 2002. Meisner now says he regrets going to the cemetery and having the photo taken because of a series of unfortunate events in his life that he attributes to his gravesite visit and the photo. He said the whole vibe was negative. And other people that after their visit to Jim Morrison's grave said that something seemed to follow them and it seems to be negative. Well, Mr. Meisner later said that he had the photo analyzed and the expert said that it hadn't been photoshopped in any way. So what do you think? Is there something at Pierre Lachaise other than Jim Morrison? Would Jim Morrison be attaching himself to people in a negative way, you think? Ah, uh, who knows? Maybe you should plan a visit and check it out. Here we go, number three. Kurt Donald Cobain, born February 20th, 1967. American musician and co-founder of alternative rock band Nirvana. Highly recognized as one of the most influential alternative rock musicians of his time. With the success of the single, Smells Like Teen Spirit, and the release of the second album, Nevermind, Kurt was soon hailed as the voice of teen angst all the way throughout the 90s. The sudden success and what Cobain thought was a complete misunderstanding and misinterpretation by the public of what the songs he had written were about. We hated the fact that he'd created an image of himself that he'd never intended to create. At the closing of his life, Kurt suffered from chronic depression and heroin addiction. Kurt succumbed to the pressures of fame, the drug addiction, and a tumultuous marriage to wife Courtney Love. His life ended on April 8, 1994. Cobain was found in his Seattle home from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was 27 years old. Now, Kurt Cobain's widow, Courtney Love, claims that she saw the rock star's ghost sitting in a chair, and he waved high and said hi right before disappearing. Now, some folks have claimed to feel his presence at a bench in Verretta Park, right across from his home. Such a tragic story, and well, who knows, maybe Kurt's still hanging around. Number two. John Winston Lennon, born October 9th, 1940, in Liverpool, England. John was an English singer and songwriter that gained worldwide success with the rock band The Beatles. Lennon had formed the band earlier in 1956 and they went by the name The Quarry Men, which later evolved into the most famous rock band in history. Lennon was also known for his hate and disdain for the Vietnam War, which led to a deportation attempt by the Nixon administration. John Lennon was shot and killed December 8, 1980 by obsessed Beatles fan Mark David Chapman. He was only 40 years old. Now, it's been reported by his wife, Yoko Ono, that outside the Dakota building, she's seen the spirit of John on occasions. Also, one of John's sons claims to have seen his father as well. And in later recording sessions with the remaining surviving members of the Beatles, well, they claim to kind of think that John's spirit's still lingering around. You never know. John left a major impact on the music world. And here we go. Everybody's been waiting for this one. Number one. Number two. 
Elvis Aaron Presley, born January 8, 1935, often referred to as the king of rock and roll. He's regarded as one of the most significant cultural figures of the 20th century. Presley was born in Tupelo, Mississippi, and relocated to Memphis, Tennessee, with his family when he was age 13. His music career took off and began in 1954, which Elvis then took off on a rocket ride, and he took some of his friends with him. Elvis died August 16, 1977, from heart failure. He was only 42 years old. Shortage at all of ghostly sightings of Elvis Presley, from Graceland to Las Vegas, and even to some of the homes that he lived in when he was staying in L.A. But I can say this, if I'm ever going to encounter a ghost, I kind of think Elvis would be the coolest one to encounter. Can you imagine your encounter with a ghostly Elvis? Well, a, a boo. Well, if you like what Uncle Jay's doing, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and always keep looking for light in a world full of darkness. Till next time, we'll see you.